Good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome to this week's episode of the Monday Morning Monarch. Um, hopefully everybody enjoyed the long weekend. It was a nice couple of days that we had there to take in some time off. So hopefully everyone appreciated uh, the little break that we got there following the parent-teacher conferences. Although uh, the kids were busy on Friday and Saturday, so uh, maybe we didn't really get the time off that we had hoped. So anyway, hopefully everybody enjoyed kind of the last little uh, little bit there away. And uh, whether we like it or not, fall seemed to show up for us this weekend too as things cooled off to more of a of an anticipated temperature, if you will, for for the middle of October. Uh, a couple of things here to get started with. Thank, first of all, thanks to everybody for coming out to parent-teacher conferences last week on Thursday. We had a nice crowd and the opportunity for parents to sit and chat with uh, staff members one-on-one -on -one is always a benefit to everybody involved. Uh, even if it uh, means having some tough conversations, those are those are good places to to have those and uh, get a footing on uh, where things are at with your with your child in the class and, and things that are going on. So hopefully everyone was able to meet with the staff they wanted to, and you had some productive conversations through that. So as always, those those connections make uh, everything better in the school setting. So thanks for coming out. Also, thanks to uh, coming out and supporting the book fair. We had, a, we had a nice turnout for the book fair uh, that the folks put on here for us. And uh, hopefully you had a chance to come out and scavenge through the books a little bit and see what you could find for your kids to uh, enjoy at home. So thanks for supporting the book fair as well. Also, congrats to the uh, marching band as they wrapped up their season on Friday over in Groton. A, a nice day over there to march in Groton. Uh, the kids continue to improve. We've gotten better and better throughout the entire season. Um, so good job, Mrs. Olson, and all of the marching band kids on their efforts throughout the marching band season. And now on to uh, a little more pet band and some concert band as we get prepared for our uh, winter concerts. It's not all that far away when you guys start to think about it. Uh, this week, come up. Good luck to everybody. All of our athletes, we got everybody's in action this week. We've got volleyball at uh, taking on Redfield tomorrow. They play Fulton on Thursday, and they're back in Redfield on Saturday for a tournament. So good luck, girls. Uh, cross country, their season's starting to wind down. Uh, region meet is on Wednesday over in Webster at the golf course. Uh, so good luck to that, to all the boys and girls, uh, as we get into postseason action for the cross country team. Good luck, everyone. Uh, football is uh, taking on Lola Frederick as they wrap up their regular season action on Friday. We have a junior high game at 5, followed by the varsity game at 7. So good luck, boys, as they finish strong with their uh, regular football season, if you will. Uh, we also have math counts. We're hosting math counts here in Warner on Wednesday. So the math elites get, uh, get to keep on with their season as that uh, progresses throughout the fall here. So good luck to the the junior hires there in uh, the math counts. And then Orland Turp gets underway on Saturday with a contest up in Aberdeen. So a little bit of everything for folks to uh, to enjoy and take in this week. Uh, good luck to all of our kids as they get uh, keep, get back into the swing of things after the long weekend. Um, also a little bit of a reminder, the quarter ends, first quarter ends on Friday. So if your kids have some work they need to get finished up or some AR or something like that, make sure they get that done by Friday and quarter grades will go out next week. So uh, again, thanks everybody for coming out for parent-teacher conferences. Uh, good luck to all our athletes this week. And as always, go Monarchs!